The mission of the Elizabeth Hospice is to enhance the quality of life for those nearing the end of life's journey and for those who grieve. Betty Bulin is the primary founder of the Elizabeth Hospice. She put out a call to action to the community uh, asking uh, anybody who was interested in, in helping make uh, care for the dying better to come to a meeting. Fifty people showed up. Fifty, five oh. I think that's extremely impressive that fifty people can get anywhere. My name is Laura Miller and I'm the President and CEO of the Elizabeth Hospice. They hired me because I had uh, worked for so long with people with chronic illness. I've been part of, an, of a growing uh, industry in a sense that more and more people are recognizing what hospice is. We really want people to participate in their own care and to tell us what it is they want, what it is they want to achieve. My name is Greg Rice and I am a social worker with the Elizabeth Hospice and I was assigned to the case of Phyllis Avance and her family. Phyllis is an 84-year-old woman who has laryngeal cancer and lives at home with her daughter here in Carlsbad. I never wanted to think, even before this happened, that my mom would ever need to go into any kind of long-term care situation. And yet, when this happened, her, the level of care she needed was so intense Saying goodbye to somebody that you love is incredibly hard. I think a lot of trust has developed on Phyllis's part um, and as well as Phyllis's family as they've kind of led us into that very intimate space at this time in their lives. The first and foremost thing is you're a guest in someone's home and that those people in that home, the patient, the family, um, they really tell you what it is they want and need. Having somebody to help you walk through that valley and knowing where that valley is going to transist that person and having somebody there to encourage you and comfort you and guide you and direct you and then being able to turn around and give that guidance and comfort and care to her, you know, that helps alleviate her fears and that's what we've tried to do is to, to let her know, Mom, it's okay, we're going to be here. I believe that it's the best way for families to support a loved one who is going through this final phase of their own life. Over the years, we really wanted everybody in the North County to know what this service is and how they could access it. And we've done everything we possibly can to get the word out to individuals, and um, that's been my journey.